Hello all, I'm Pei Vierola. I'm a Finnish artist and art teacher and I, I teach online art classes in my small business called Pionian Parakeet. I thought that I would blog about this subject, uh, just create a written blog post. But then I thought that uh, this subject is probably better to talk uh, about in a video. Uh, even if it's easier for me to write, because uh, English is not my native language and um, uh, I'm qu quite fluent by in writing, but um, I still wanted to uh, cr make a video and talk about this, because I want to talk about friendship and I think that's the t theme that is uh, much more easy, easily accessible and understandable this way. Because I work in my small business, I work alone from home and um, most of my customers are located in the other side of the world. They come from USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, different parts from Europe, all over the place. Uh, uh, working alone uh, at home is not always easy because um, uh, in my day job, when I was working uh, in my day job a, few, a couple of years ago, there were the colleagues and I sometimes miss uh, colleagues. But during these two years I've realized that uh, I do have colleagues and friends around. Uh, they are just often uh, via online and it doesn't uh, feel quite that close that way. But um, then about a year ago I met a local artist, someone who lives very near me. She's a ceramic artist, Johanna Rytkölä. And she's, she has also internationally exhibited her work. And she creates clay art and ceramic art from clay and she has a brilliant sense of uh, form. I enjoy our conversations and I especially enjoy and value her as an art teacher as well because she also has an educate education in art teaching and she has done a lot of that so I really enjoy being able to talk face to face uh, with someone about teaching art which is my passion passion too. I'm lucky in that way that I have um, a husband who is extremely interested in art and design and we often have great discussions but I must say that uh, getting to know Johanna has been a really big thing for me because for the first time for a long long time I've been able to talk about um, talk in-depth conversations about art and teaching about teaching art and um, I also enjoy her encourage uh, the way he in, she can encourage uh, other people and inspire other people uh, because she is so open and, and uh, um, so um, uh, intuitive in, in a way. Uh, this is an example when I developed a class about um, a new method that I discovered about drawing, which is um, based on stick figures. Here's one of the illustrations that I created for uh, the course to demonstrate how, what you can create with that technique by starting with stick figures and then transforming them the flowing shapes and then transforming the flowing shapes the flowing compositions and uh, easily fill the page with uh, shapes that uh, represent uh, uh, real things. So that was a panda and here's a bunny drawn with the same method. So I have a, 
a six month class called Imagine Monthly and I have this, uh, this mini course is offered there. So if you join Imagine Monthly you will get this mini course right away. When Johanna saw this uh, idea, uh, she was really encouraging and we developed a local workshop where, uh, where I teach drawing and she teaches uh, sculpting. So I've made a pressure of that. Uh, unfortunately, this is held in Finland. I will uh, teach drawing and she will then teach how to create three-dimensional uh, clay art from the drawings. I've also met another person who has been inspiring and she's also a, Fini a Finnish artist. She's a young artist called Emmi Mustonen and she uh, teaches art techniques that have been used in uh, Renaissance period in, sixth, in the 16th century and uh, a bit later. And uh, she is offering a class in our National Museum, which is wonderful old building. And she's offering a class there where we learn to paint like Renaissance masters. Well, of course, we are not as skillful as those masters are. And, and I already have a glimpse of, of that mastery once I've tried to copy one painting. But this class, uh, we have had now two out of six sessions. And I'm already seeing all the possibilities for those techniques in intuitive art too. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm now showing the painting I'm, I'm uh, painting. So here's my classwork. And uh, this is, this, this looks nothing like the painting I'm copying. Well, for some people it might lo look like a bit, but actually when I look at this closer, it doesn't look like uh, the painting at all. But what's consolating is that when I look at this student, what, what other students have been made, we have all copied sort of self-portraits, so everybody's face looks a bit like the one who has created them. And I see, I actually see uh, my grandmother, who I never met in this in this picture, which is really funny that uh, we all have our own uh, sense of uh, facial features and they all come on canvas even if we are copying an image. I'll, I'll show, show you a small part of the painting that I'm copying. So this is the painting and this is the young girl and if you compare these two, not very much similarities, but I'm going to continue this because it's a class exercise and yeah, I'm going to continue that and try not to be discouraged. I'm, I extremely admire Emmy Mustonen and um, her uh, ability to create the gorgeous paintings. I also think that sometimes it's really good to uh, expand uh, the own, how would I say, strengths. Uh, try to move out of the comfortable zo zone and create something totally different. You know, um, I'm all for ideas in art. I love to have ideas. I love to paint uh, even abstract concepts and I love to create intuitive art. And this is totally different because we are doing the total opposite. We are copying a painting using very slow techniques and oil paints that I've never used before. 
so there's a lot of uncomfortability uh, related to this and I think it's uh, good to notice that and experience that uh, once in a while, especially if you are a teacher yourself. Now I've mentioned uh, two people especially and I want to mention uh, a third person who is Terry. I'm not going to say Terry's surname because I forgot to ask uh, her permission but um, she's, she's Terry and she has been uh, surprising me this fall. First I received a surprise package from Amazon and I do order from Amazon time to time but uh, this time I hadn't and I was extremely uh, surprised and I got this Spectrum wat uh, watercolor markers, aqua markers in different colors, beautiful blooming colors and I was so in, so touched by this uh, that somebody uh, who's my student uh, sends me the art supplies and I had never I have never tried these so I'm I'm extre extremely in interested in th those and uh, then uh, later in the fall I got another package from Terry again and she sent me liquid watercolor bottle, bottles Dr. Martin's liquid watercolors I've never used liquid watercolors before I've only used uh, the watercolor pads and then in the same package there was Japanese squash uh, paints I do have used squash uh, paints uh, before but I've never used this brand these are Japanese uh, Turner acryl gouache Japanese uh, color gouaches so I received all these from Terry who's my student and um, I want to thank you Terry for your generosity and um, I think that even more than uh, the supplies themselves, even if they are wonderful and new, uh, the more important uh, to me and significant, uh, meaningful to me is that uh, I know that somebody has been thinking about me. And I think that that's uh, the subject that I wanted to bring up more in general term to that um, I know we all think about each other, that we all have friendship that uh, have happened online, that we have uh, met a classmate uh, in, uh, in an art class, uh, or we, we are close friends in Facebook, but have never met or, and often forget to mention how much we appreciate and think about um, these people and I think uh, what makes um, this so touching is that Terry didn't only think she also sent, sent me this and it's, it's really heartwarming and that's because I wanted to make this video to, to uh, tell you that uh, uh, I want to be part of this community and that uh, I often think what inspiring could I bring to this community or what kind of help I could offer to this community uh, and I hope that in some ways I have succeeded but I know that there's a lot of things that I still could do and uh, that I could uh, also be more open and I see this um, uh, struggle of opening up 
also um, kind of cultural thing that uh, we people in Finland we are extremely fact oriented. We uh, don't talk that much, especially men. My one of <laughs> few of my foreign friends have said that it's it's uh, so surprising when men don't say anything in Finland that women talk a bit at least. Uh, I think I'm quite talkative, but uh, uh, I'm also quite introvert, and I think that almost every artist it it is in that respect that this work also requires a lot of quiet, a peace and quiet um, and uh, that way it's it's not so natural to always uh, be so open with th thoughts. I also see this happening all the time with people that uh, uh, meaningful relationships uh, are formed in art classes and uh, that people try to get in touch. For example, just uh, via Facebook friendship. But I think that uh, it is really easy to not to say how meaningful it is for us to have artist friends. So that was the reason I wanted to talk about uh, my friendship with Johanna and uh, uh, the great uh, teaching that I've got under Emmy Mustonen and also bring up uh, all these presents that I've got from Terry. Uh, these are just few examples what uh, friendships can bring but I think that um, even smallest comments mean a lot um, and that's not just me, that's all of us. I often feel that I should take more time for commenting when uh, the time is limited I try to make most of the commenting in my classes. But I do want to also to contribute to community and uh, and be accessible, even if I uh, live here in Finland, far away from uh, from many of you. Now I want to thank you for watching, and if you have watched this far. In the end you will see me using all of these supplies. I have to co confess that I did try these pens once they arrived. Just doodled a bit, nothing grand. Uh, I couldn't resist. But uh, these two packages I haven't even opened yet and uh, uh, it will be very very new and exciting experience to me and hopefully some of that will show in the video. I'm uh, creating a small painting with this on this watercolor, uh, smooth watercolor paper and uh, I will start with the uh, ink bottles and, and then uh, bring the other, other two supplies in after that. So I will now adjust the camera so that you can see better and this uh, yeah this video is dedicated for uh, art friends and friendship in art community. I don't know yet what I'm going to create but something that is inspired by that. <laughs>